Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Countdown video. So I think I've decided to just cover all the Pokemon that were revealed during E3 because there's just so much to talk about and I feel like the Pokemon that were revealed are going to make a big impact on the game. For example, you probably think that Grubbin wouldn't make a big impact on the game, but you're wrong. Think about Caterpie and Wurmple and Swaddle, none of those Pokemon really grew to be super strong. But you also have to remember how Scatterbug turns into Vivillon, and Vivillon isn't really such a bad Pokemon. I mean, it's not the best, but it does get Quiver Dance. And trust me, it can come in handy. Maybe not competitively, but it definitely outshines the previous early route bug Pokemon. What I'm trying to say with all of this is don't judge Grubbin because it's an early route bug Pokemon. Well, I mean, we're not even sure if it's an early route bug Pokemon yet. But usually when it's the first revealed bug Pokemon, it's gonna be an early route bug Pokemon. But who's to say that Grubbin couldn't be the first early route bug Pokemon to have success like Fletchling turning into Talonflame or something crazy like that. This is all just speculation, but imagine a bug type Pokemon, an early route bug type Pokemon to shine like that. The reason why all of this came to my mind is because Fatmon drew some fan art of Grubbin's evolutions. And Grubbin's final evolution that she imagined and drew stands out to me as one of the most powerful early route, no sorry, the most powerful early route bug Pokemon that's ever existed. Again, this is all just speculation, but you guys cannot tell me that that Pokemon does not look strong. Let's imagine that this was real for a second though. I feel like Grubbin's final evolution would be more of a bulky type. If you guys haven't noticed, it has a lot of shields around it, but it also doesn't seem to have much protection in the middle anymore, so it's kind of come out of its shell, which also means that it could be a little faster and a little stronger. I'm not even sure what ability I would give this Pokemon since Grubbin starts out with such a basic ability, Swarm. One interesting thing that I forgot to point out though is that Grubbin loves electricity and it is found near power plants and substations. Isn't that a little weird? Power plants? Like the Kalos power plant? Is there a power plant in Alola too? Or maybe they're trying to leave hints for something else here. I mean, obviously they're trying to hint that Grubbin is eventually going to be an electric type. Or like a bug electric type. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. The Sun and Moon shirts are only back for one week. So if you didn't get them before, now is your chance. And yes, you will still be entered in the Sun and Moon giveaway. Thank you guys for watching, make sure to click like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.